105.5, One Republic with Joe and Tina at 824. And he's going to be pairing at the Laugh Factory in Chicago. He's got a whole lot going on, and we got a lot to talk about. Jamie Kennedy's with us on Star. What up, man? What up? Yeah, the first thing that Tina's all fixated on is apparently it's your birthday this week. And what are you doing for your birthday, hey. man? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Nita. What are you doing for your birthday, man? You got big party plans or what? I know you're hanging out in Chicago right now. I'm in Chicago, but uh, you know what? I might I might go and see my parents. Isn't that exciting? Oh, that's so sweet, though. See, that's it. Right, right to you. You know a way to a woman's heart, don't you, Jamie Kennedy? Just talk about. I'm going to see my parents. It's just going to be a chill, nice little weekend. You guys are going to start doing Patron shots around midnight, probably. <laughs> And how are your parents, man? They probably love having you home. Yeah, it kind of stinks because they have this bed, which was kind of the bed that I grew up in in the 80s. You know, they still, like, won't get rid of that bed. So it's like I've slept in a lot of great mattresses throughout my career, but I'm still sleeping on that 80s mattress. And it's like if I don't do it, I'm like, oh, Mr. Hollywood. And your feet are probably hanging off the end of the bed the entire time, too. Now, is the room still intact and everything, or is it just the bed that's the same? It's changed a little bit, but it still has certain things from my past. Like uh, it has a picture of Charles Barkley, a Porsche 911, because I like cars, and I like Charles Barkley. And then I like Hooters Girl, but Hooters wasn't big then. Well, I, you know, and I was just—I was just going to ask you of those. Charles Hooters and Charles Barkley. Is that weird to meet them? So, of the three that you just listed, these posters up in your parents' bedroom, which of them have you attained or at least met through the years? Well, I think you—you um, you can definitely purchase two out of the three. <laughs> maybe right, so. Exactly. Yeah, right. So, I mean, maybe assume. you can purchase the third if he would come to your party and you know speak and tell basketball stories. But yeah. You can definitely purchase two out of the three. Jamie Kennedy going to be at the Laugh Factory through tomorrow night. You're going to be able to see him there. I know also you're doing the show over on the CW called Oh Sit, which I've been hearing a lot about. We got a lot of billboards up here in Chicago for that show. And Is, and, it, is it on billboards here? It is on billboards. Yeah, he's like, he's like is, is someone talking about it? I got to see it. Um, first of all, there's two things I want to say. It's called Oh Sit, no H. And basically, it's musical chairs meets wipeout. But really, I think it's just a good excuse for a wet t-shirt contract. You know, it's and funny, the, yeah. It, 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 there's nothing more exciting to see girls fall down on foam, uh, you know, foam slippery uh, obstacles in a onesie, right? I it's mean, that's pretty absolutely. much what the game is. He, he just explained the show, Oh Sit. That must have been the pitch to the CW it, for the show, and it must have been all male executives in the room. Very much, and it's the only game show where men and women can compete um, in a physical competition. So it's the only show where you can push uh, women, but you can't push them from behind the track. That's the rule because pushing from behind the track. Of course, right, yeah, that's of not course, allowed. of course, that's not allowed. Why would that? Not, yeah. not? You can't do that, but you can push them in the side. You can bump them. <laughs> Don't be scared because a lot of these women will push back. Oh yeah, girls, watch girls, out. Lingerie women uh, footballers, they take down. You know who does very good on this show? Lingerie football women and parkour Asians. I think Tina might, she might be one of the two uh, of those. So maybe there's a celebrity <laughs> exactly. appearance in the works. Tina, and I think if you come to the show, I'll, I'll come to my show this weekend. Um, I'll check you out and I'll tell you if you're going to be good for the course. You're one of those cool girls, right? You're not like one of those cheesy girls are you oh no i am a chick that you can definitely hang with because i'll tell you why because i was in a coffee shop the other day and i hate it when girls always wear those pants with writing on their butt it's <laughs> like juicy yeah i don't have and any it of those totally teases guys because i was like it's not fair like good guy get this get girls back and forth a lot of <laughs> pants for guys with writing on the front just says package I mean, no, I like that. it's jamie kennedy is going to be at the laugh factory in chicago we're going to have some tickets coming up here in just a few i do see you're on twitter a lot but you don't really get into the the twitter wars as we call them you're not a big fan of that huh i would never tweet at anyone ever in hollywood ever and just start a war i wouldn't tweet like i wouldn't go at their dust and diamond or screech and be like, hey, man, you you piece of garbage or whatever. I mean, I like him as a person, but I'm saying I would never do that. But people, like, tweet at me and tell me what a piece of doo-doo I am. I'm like, I just woke up. I haven't it's even had my coffee. <laughs> Why am I doo-doo? You know, also, another thing that just drives me nuts, I don't know how crazy it drives you, you did the Jamie Kennedy experience on the CW way back when, and then a year later, 
punked with Ashton Kutcher came out and popped, and I was like, he stole your idea. You know, Ashton stole some stuff. He definitely had some ideas, but, I mean, you know, he's always been stealing ideas. Like, like I always wanted to have sex with Demi Moore, too. I mean, that was my <laughs> idea first. You know, and, she went. and he got that one out of you, yeah. Yeah, well, <laughs> Jamie Kennedy hanging out with us at the Laugh Factory in Chicago. But I had to tweak you a little bit that they grabbed that for punk. Imitations of form of flattery until, like, you're walking through an airport to go and, like, do, like, a gig in, like, Wisconsin, and you turn and you see on Rolling Stone, Action Kutcher shirtless on roll, on the cover of Rolling Stone, it says, The Prank King! And you're yeah. like, what? <laughs> Yes, that's it. And you just <laughs> happen to be... The legend, yeah. Frank. <laughs> yeah, you're up all night taking planes, doing connecting flights and everything, and that's like what you're greeted at, at the <laughs> airport with that. So. Action Kutcher's app. Well, either way, man, you got a ton going on. Laugh Factory tonight through tomorrow, Jamie Kennedy. And you do your own Twitter. You're the man. On there. People want to tweet at me now, they can, at Jamie Kennedy, by the way. Yeah, man, and plus if people went out to the show last night or whatever and they, and they want to talk about there's just so much, man. You're on Ghost on CBS Forever, which led you to Jennifer Love Hewitt, which isn't kind of a – that's not too bad of a deal, huh? <laughs> which way? You talk about that like it's a credit. Well, it, it, well come a, on. That's good. That's a great you did, thing. You did that Jennifer Love Hewitt movie, right? <laughs> no, come on. I mean, come on. I did see at the time when, when they said you were dating Jennifer Love Hewitt, I saw you do a whole thing on it, like how someone said, you know, she went to the bottom of the barrel or something like that. It's like. Oh, that was a Twitter. Yeah, that was Twitter, like, at its worst. It was like, no, like, literally the first headline said, Jennifer Love Hewitt. Scrapes the bottom of the barrel. Oh. Like, really? What? On the bottom of the barrel? Psh, whatever, man. Haters are going to hate, right? Isn't that what they say? Jamie Kennedy at the Laugh Factory in Chicago. We're going to give some tickets away here in just a couple of minutes. Thanks so much, Jamie, for being generous with the time. And we'll see you at the Laugh Factory. You guys are great. Thank you so much for your time.